Hey, Victory Village, welcome to Motivational Monday. I'm going to be giving you an update and talking about one of my favorite people, Shamar. Well, for those of you who don't know, I gave you an update a few weeks ago, or I should say a few months ago, um, about one of my favorite people, Shamarco Shamar. He goes by many names. I just call him Shamar. He is one of the most inspirational people I have ever known. And guess what, you guys? I have a surprise for you, so stay tuned so you don't miss that surprise. But right now, Shamar has a new song out, and we're going to take a listen to it and uh, see what you guys think about it. I'm not going to lie, the beat is strong. I like the beat. I think that um, with a little help from a vocal coach and, you know, more practice, Shamar is going to be a wonderful recording artist. So I'm like all hyped about it and I can't wait to see what you guys thought about it. So make sure you drop those comments down below so we can get a vibe going about this. Now, why did I choose Shamar as my motivational Monday muse? Well, he has motivated me to get off my butt and do my podcast and do, you know, what I feel um, that I can do with my talents. Anybody that has a disability and can do all of the things that Shamar can do, I'm telling you, um, it, it's worth it. And it's 2022. Who knew that he was going to drop another song in 2022? Um, he does have a new YouTube channel. So the channel that we talked about before, I'm not sure if he's going to revamp that channel or not. If it were me, I would definitely go back to my original YouTube channel but he may have some problems um you know with that channel because a lot of his social media does get blocked so I'm not sure if he can get into that channel you know maybe he has to change his password or something but he already has over 10,000 subscribers on the first YouTube channel so you know it just just my advice just my opinion I would totally go back to my original YouTube channel and you know vamp it up because fans are already there and you know that's just what I would do but he does have a new YouTube channel and that's where this song dropped at the first of the year so proud of Shamar for that um, I was hoping that he would get back into his music hoping that he would get back into you know his dancing he does dance a lot on TikTok having a lot of fun not on his channel on a couple of his friends channels which you can still find him all you have to do is type in Shamar and as you can see from some of the pictures, he's already been deemed uh, a TikTok, Instagram, and social media maven. So um, he's steadily growing, and he, he just can't be stopped. I cannot wait to see what Shamar does this year. Uh, let me know what you guys think about his song, the vocals, the beat, the look. Um, you know Shamar's going to come out with a new look this year. He is famous 
for his looks, the hair, the makeup, the clothes, everything. So I'm excited to see what else he has in store for us. So late last year, I reached out to Shamar via Instagram and asked him if he would like to be on our show for an interview, and this is what he had to say. That's good. Just say some positive things about me. I don't want you to be like entertainment or look at entertainment. If you don't say so, just say something positive about me. That's about it. So, Village, you guys already know how excited I was when I got the news back from Shamar that he was willing to come on the show this year. So we're going to try to set a date um, so he can come and you guys can meet him and celebrate his new um, single and, you know, just talk to him. Um, my goal in this is so that you guys can ask him the questions that you've always wanted to ask him and you know just to encourage him and uplift him um it's really hard to be out in the public side with disability and to have people accept you and you know even though his career seems to have you know slowed down a little bit it's okay i'm sure he'll pick it back up with the right manager and the right guidance um yeah i i really don't see anything that could be um negative in the way of stopping his career um besides the obvious i mean of course you know we are all used to shamar popping off at the drop of a hat and there are some things that i may or may not be unaware of um that causes shamar's uh, social media accounts to um get disabled or you know to be taken away um i'm sure again with the right guidance and um you know with the right manager um i'm not sure if he's going independent or if he's getting a label but even with the right label um management uh, having some guidance and saying you know shamar this is you know not the way that you want your you know career to go um you know we can't have you doing this we can't have you doing that um, and saying it in a positive way instead of, you know, pissing him off and making him mad. Um, this could all turn out to be something um, exciting and positive. And, you know, I'm expecting growth, you know, from this because Shamar um, is in his early 20s, if you didn't know that. All right, guys, thank you for hanging out with me for Motivational Monday. I hope that this encouraged you and motivated you as well to get off of your butt and do what you have always wanted to do. Follow your dreams, follow your goals, follow your destinies, just like Shamar. If he can do it, so can you. And I'm sure, surely, surely motivated. I mean, this is just the kick in the butt. I need it. It was a surprise to me because I didn't know he had a single dropping. I didn't know that he had new things in store. So I was super excited and I was like, you know what? It is really time to grow and it's really time to soar and it's really time, you know, to really just get off of your butt and do something with your life. Leave your mark you know, what? what is your legacy, you know, what are you leaving behind, you know, for others to see and others to say, you know what, this is really encouraging, it's inspiring, it's motivating, you know what I mean? So think about those things because, you know, we see people on the outside and we see them wiling out and we see them doing all kinds of stuff, but you never know what's going on behind the scenes, all right? So thanks, guys, once again, Victory Village. You know I love you, and I cannot wait to get Shamar on the channel so we can have some fun and ask some questions, and this is going to be a treat for you guys. Make good choices. Live on purpose. You guys be careful out there. Mask it up. Use your hand sanitizer, gloves at the pump if you can, and I will be talking to you guys in another video. Bye for now, Village. I love you. Bye.